Hello everybody and welcome to a very special episode of Andrew Rants. The video series where I, Andrew Rhodes, stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about everything around me that annoys me, bothers me, pisses me off, and just plain makes me wonder why oh why couldn't Thanos have snapped his fingers earlier. Yeah. Anyway, what am I ranting about today? Well, it's actually a very special episode. First one to ever be recorded, and the last one to ever be recorded, so help me God. This and this take a while to set up. That's why I don't do it all the time. So today, I am ranting about myself. That's right. I'm actually going to be ranting about myself for stuff that I do wrong and other things have been pointed out to me. Now, this does not mean in any way, shape, or form that I'm taking and admitting that I've done stupid things. I will always admit that. I'm human. I make mistakes. Just like you, just like me, everybody else. I make mistakes. There's nothing I can really do about it to change those now. And honestly, there's nothing I can do... Well, there's a lot of stuff I can do in the future to prevent it again. I just want to go on the record right now and state the following. If at some point it becomes too much that the Rand videos start becoming a problem where I'm getting more negativity than positivity, they are done. I have other videos I can do on my channel besides rant videos. I know a lot of fun I do with those and a lot of fun I have making them. However, this is starting to become a bit of a problem for me. So, a majority of the issues are because I don't record all the time. It's a static image with me talking. I've gotten a lot of complaints about that. Here's the thing. I'm limited by the technology that I have. I have a camera, I have a camera, I have a backdrop, I have a mic, I have a laptop. That's it. I have a desktop and a tablet. That's it. That's all I have. I don't have high-end video editing software. I have Microsoft uh, Windows Movie Maker. And I have PowerDirector on my laptop here. This has PowerDirector. That's it. That's all I have. And it's the free version of PowerDirector. It's not the paid version. It's the free version. That's what I have. So, I get a little annoyed when people are going, well, your videos don't actually have video. It's more or less just you talking so your videos are fake and so are you no the stuff that I'm talking about you can easily find online google searching it I always ask your opinion at the end of the videos anyway what are your thoughts it starts an open dialogue to get everybody on the same page okay well this is my thoughts on this hey that's fine I always ask that at the end of the video anyway what annoys me is when I'm told, well, your videos are fake, you're fake because I don't see any pictures, I don't see any links to this stuff, and you're just picking on stuff that I like. Okay, that's fine. To which I have to say, I like a lot of this stuff too. The problem is, is that it annoys me when stuff's getting remade. In the form of reboots and remakes, it annoys me because it means that the first one wasn't good enough. What was wrong with the first one that you have to remake it now? That's my issue. I have no complaints. None. If something's not done right the first time, I will tell you. Others will tell you. That's when you reboot its ass. The Fantastic Four got a reboot, and the reboot sucked. The original was fine. The Jessica Alba version was fine. But it got a reboot, and the reboot tanked. God, hoping we don't get another one, but still. On top of that, I mean, it's reboots. I loved the original Space Jam. Nowhere in my rant video where I complained about Space Jam 2 did I ever say I hated the original Space Jam. I loved the original Space Jam. It's one of my favorite movies. It does not need a sequel, especially not now anymore. If it wanted a sequel, it had an opportunity back when it came out the first time. However, now, Michael Jordan's no longer relevant. 
So you have to find another basketball player. In this case, it's apparently going to be LeBron James. So, why? That's my question. I never said I hated the original Space Jam. I liked the original Space Jam. I never said I hated it. But apparently it was misconstrued that I said I hate it. Just because I rant about a reboot that's being made doesn't mean that I hate the original. If I hate the original, I'll come out and tell you I hate the original. I'm not a fan of Harry Potter. I tried reading the books. I've seen the movies. I'm not a fan of it. I can literally sit through a movie, sit through one of those when it was on TV. If I'm having something else that I'm doing, I'm zoning, listening to it. I could care less about it. Because it didn't grab my attention. It had nothing that really drew me into it. And I think of wizards, I think of mythical wizards. Not some teenage prepubescent wizards that got a thunderbolt on his forehead and goes to a school to learn how to do magic. I'm not a fan of Harry Potter. I'm not a fan of some of a lot of the other stuff. There are things that I've talked about and I've ranted about that I don't like. The live-action Aladdin movie. I don't like it. First off, it's a slap in the face to the animated one. Second, it's a slap in the face to Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. I, he's rolling in his grave. I know it. But may he rest in peace. Honestly, I don't like it. And I will not hold back my adaptation of why I don't like it. If I rant about something and it's something that you like, I apologize if it offended you, but it's only my opinion. Not everybody in the world is going to like the same thing as everybody else. I can't stand, for example, annoying people. Then again, everybody can't stand annoying people. I can't stand coffee. And there are people that drink this stuff like crazy. But I'm not standing outside of a Starbucks telling people that it's horrible. No, because it's their decision to drink it. It's their opinion that they like it. I don't like it, so I don't drink it. Just because I have an opinion about something apparently means I can't express my opinion anymore. This recently happened, too, on Twitter, as I made a comment about Pokemon Sun and Moon, about how the animation on it was bad and the art style was bad. I stand by that statement, too, to this day. It only happened recently, but still, I stand by that statement. The art style looked like something that a kindergartner did that a first grader perfected upon, and the animation of said art style was just bad as well. I'm not a fan of stuff like that, and I will not hold back my adaptation and my hatred when I say when I talk about it. Something that went from beautifully as uh, X, Y, and X, Y, and Z to that. I didn't like it. And I'm not alone in that. But there are some people that did, and apparently, because I made a comment about it, I was rude and sensitive, because when I was always taught, if you have a comment to make on something like that, like it's somebody's opinion and you want to express your own, you start off with an icebreaker, then you put in your opinion. The icebreaker is to loosen the ground around you so that the idea might sink a little bit like, okay, not everybody likes this. But apparently, when I do an icebreaker, it's rude and insensitive. Fine. But don't just come out and say that, well, you should go and basically watch this video on YouTube from somebody that knows what they're talking about, because you obviously don't have a clue. I never said I did. I've seen tons of anime. I can tell you a good art style that I like versus one that I don't like. And it could be somebody else's entirely opinion. But that's just it. It's my opinion. If I don't like the way, like, let's say um, the first few episodes of Dragon Ball Super. The animation was all over the place and the art style was all over the place. Because the art style sucked, the animation for it sucked. That's where it is. And it's just, that whole thing keeps going on and on. You keep ranting about stuff that I like. You don't know what you're talking about. You're beeping fake. I'm not fake, for starters. I know what I'm talking about, and if I don't, I'll look it up, or I'll admit that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll say, I have no clue, or I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not, that I'm a complete idiot on the topic. 
I just give my own opinion. But again, I'm not entitled to have my own opinion. Apparently nobody is. I don't understand what the big deal is. Apparently having an opinion on something is a bad thing. I don't like the new Aladdin movie. That instantly means I'm a blasphemer. I don't like Sailor Moon Crystal. Oh my god, you're horrible. No. I'm allowed to have my own opinion. When it comes to something that I don't like, just because it's critically loved by everybody does not mean you're gonna find. Does not mean that one person does not exist out there that found it to be annoying. I don't see the world through cynical eyes. I see the world as it is. Sure, some stuff I see through rose-colored lenses, but still, I like what I see and I talk about what I see. Flat out. Yes, it gets a little annoying when people go, well, you're fake, blah, 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 this and that. I'm not. And that still annoys me. Another thing that bothers me is apparently my rant, or my theory videos. Apparently there's an unsung word about the code of honor amongst YouTube creators. That if one YouTube creator has an idea, nobody else is allowed to use it. So because... The Angry Video Game Nerd reviews video games. Pat the NES Punk can't review video games. Because Bennett the Sage reviews anime. I can't review anime. Because Matt Pat does theories. I can't do theories. I've been told multiple times by some people that my theory videos, and nobody's left comments either on my YouTube channel on this. They've left comments on other sites that I have found. Or that were brought to my attention by other people who know me. Or they were talking about it amongst their friends on Facebook. And I can't see the post because I'm not their friend. Going about how this video is idiotic. This person doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh god, another theorist out there. Oh, that's all the world needs. I never once stated in any of my theory videos that honestly I know what I'm talking about. They're theories. The entire process of a theory is basically to give you an idea of what you want to have done or what you think could happen. It's not a solid proof of anything. But again, apparently, I can't have an opinion. I can't have a thought in my head that doesn't conform to everybody else. That's fine. Eventually, it's how it's all going to be. And I guess, finally, with my channel, it's the annoyances that I just get from people that don't like what I do or want me to be like every other YouTuber. I can't be like every other YouTuber. If I could, I would, but I can't. I don't have the technology to do it. I don't have the means to upload videos every single day and not slow down my entire house's internet. I get one me point zero, zero point one megabit per second max speed. Okay? That's not a lot of speed. It keeps going on and on and on like this. Split up over X amount of devices, that does take up some time. I don't have a lightning fast internet connection to deal with uploading a 40 minute high def video. I don't have the technology to make that. I know that a lot of other review videos have done this in the past. You have Angry Joe, AVGN, Pat the NDS Punk, just to name a few. The 8-Bit Guy. And I'm just naming channels that I know on YouTube. And it's because they do it. Everybody else thinks that these videos should be done that way. But that's just it. It's whatever you're comfortable with doing. I'm comfortable doing this the way I've been doing it. I do video ones for the Anime GBU my Q&A. And possibly my discussion video when I start that. I don't do it for the other ones because they're easier to put up the format that I put it in. I don't want to see people see me flip out and get pissed off. It's not a pleasant sight to see. This is me angry. That's me pissed off. I don't want people to see that all the time. That's why I don't record rant videos all the time. On top of that, it takes a hell of a long time to render these things. It bothers me when people complain about my stuff because it feels like I'm not doing a good enough job to suit you. I'm doing the best I can. I know that 
a majority of YouTubers do look for creative feedback. I'm one of them too. But if all the feedback's going to be is start recording yourself more, give us higher definition videos, we want you to stop complaining about stuff that we like, then there's no point in me being a YouTuber then. I don't mind doing this. I do this for fun because I don't get paid to do this. This is free. I don't talk about certain subjects. I don't bother with certain things. I try my best to tiptoe over certain topics to avoid stepping on any toes. I just don't understand why people want all YouTubers to be the same. If you review a channel, you have to have the same graphics and everything else that everybody else does. I'm sorry I don't have pictures with my videos. While I can get copyright free stuff and public domain stuff, you still run the risk of it being copyright striked by somebody that wants to basically have a bug up their butt about, oh well, I have to stop this because I don't like this topic. And that's what will happen. Somebody will go, I don't like the topic. They'll copyright strike the video by claiming that there's an image in there that's theirs. So the whole process goes through. Three of those, your channel's gone. Then I go through the process to get it back, and I'm watched like a hawk. I do this the way I do it to avoid copyright issues. I have some videos that do have pictures, and I roll the dice on those every single day. It happens. Okay? I roll the dice on those every day. And they're eventually going to get taken down at some point. Because YouTube's going to look at that. Somebody's going to complain or get pissed off at me for something. Look at those videos and go, this is my picture. It's mine. You can't have it. That's fine. Then I'll take the video down myself. But it's the fact that People just don't understand the whole concept of this. I'm not like every other YouTuber. If everyone was the same, there would be, we'd all be blobs, gray blobs. Individuality and uniqueness is what we do. This is how I do stuff. I enjoyed anonymity. I still do with my rant videos, my theory videos, and my podcast. I don't record them because it takes longer to both upload and render it versus how it does now. Or it takes me less time to do that. The podcast, I just assume people are going to listen to it while doing other things. That's what you do. It's like a radio show. There's nothing really to see. And when I did put in pictures, it still didn't help. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. What are your thoughts on my channel? I want to know in the comment section below. Do you think I should be recording everything 24-7? All my videos should be recorded from now on? Or do you like the system I have now where some are recorded and some aren't recorded? It's, you know, I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rants. Thanks, everybody, and uh, thanks.